And this is going to create some controversy because some of your favorite guys, they're going to tell you the opposite of this one. And I don't care because this is just my opinion, what I think. If you disagree, you disagree. Coach Greg, and today we are going to learn how to get some big biceps. Everyone wants huge arms and who doesn't want to show off the guns, okay? So what I'm saying is there are three main or most important biceps exercises that you should be doing to get the most jacked arms you can, okay? I'm going to also explain the three worst or the most stupid or the ones you shouldn't do to get your arms to grow. So you'll walk out of this video and know what to train and what not to train to get the best arms that you could possibly have. Okay, before I get into that, not a doctor, not a dietitian, an actual kinesiologist that actually knows about this stuff. Okay, so listen to me. I've been training for 34 years. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna make it real simple so you all will understand. Not gonna talk over your head and not gonna try to confuse you with any of the BS. We're gonna get right into it. The number one best, most important bicep exercise you should be doing to get the big arms that you want. Here it is. The standing cheating bicep curl. Now, I don't mean you cheat right away, but I mean you need to cheat a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna explain what I mean. So barbell curl, it doesn't matter if it's a barbell or an easy bar, you know, the bendy ones. It really doesn't matter. Your hands can be anyway. Don't try to confuse it. You stand up and you curl the freaking weight, okay? It's that simple. So why cheating? Well, when you cheat, you allow yourself to lift a little bit heavier, okay? If you go super, super strict, you're gonna fatigue before you can really go to failure or really push your arms to the point that they get that progressive overload at the end. At first, sure, you just go strict and it's fine. If you're a beginner, don't need to cheat. But if you're watching this and you've been training a few years and you want your arms to grow, train harder, train harder than last time. Cheat a little bit. Not saying lean back past vertical. Okay, so let me just demo. Okay, so you start strict, bicep curl, okay? Say you get to eight reps and you can't do it anymore, okay? Little bit of a swing, little bit of a swing, no big deal. Do not bend backwards. It is not a limbo contest, okay? You're not trying to limbo. So do not go past the vertical, so standing straight. It's okay to lean, get a little bit of power, and curl to the top. That's what I'm talking about. That is the number one exercise, okay? You do that, everything else is gravy. Everything else is bonus, okay? Now, one thing to remember is you don't want to use a super close grip on this. It will, in fact, decrease the amount of bicep contraction that you're getting. The studies will show this, okay? Less activation of the bicep. Don't need to know that. Just grab a normal freaking grip. You can go a little bit wider for variation, but to me, I don't like wider. It, it feels like you have less range of motion. So just grab it normal, shoulder width. Grab that bar and curl it. When you get tired, eight, nine, 10 reps, do a couple more by cheating, okay? This is one time when cheating is good. Don't cheat on your girlfriend, cheat on the curls. Curls for girls, don't cheat on your girls. See what I did there? Number two, are you ready for this? It is a dumbbell curl, but it is a certain way. You have to start from a pronated to a supinated position when you curl the weight. Easy to remember. Pronate is when your hand is down. Supinate is when you can hold a cup of soup. There's a cup, boom, my coffee, I can hold it. If my hand's like that, I can't hold it. I could grab it, supinate, you hold a cup of soup, okay? So this number two exercise, you start with the weight on the side. If you're at home, you curl your freaking syrup, okay? So you start in your pronated position, and as you curl up, you twist up, okay? So you see that motion? It twists. So my baby finger becomes higher than my thumb at the top. And now see what happens, okay? You, when you twist over, 
the bicep automatically contracts. So as you do that, you're going to get more contraction of the bicep, okay? Remember, the bicep is technically two muscles. It's like a bicycle that's got two wheels, a tricycle. A tricep is three, okay? Short and long head, okay? So you wanna work the entire bicep. So if you start with the curls, then switch to the dumbbells where you supinate, you get that entire bicep action to flex and contract, okay? And that's what you want. The long and short head, you want the peak, and you can see if you flex and you twist in, the bicep actually moves, okay? So you're asking, well, should you be standing, seated? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think. Do it the way you like. Standing, boom. At the same time, sure, same time. Slow-mo, look at that, slow-mo. One arm at a time, woo. See, it's not that com Oh, but I don't like standing, I have a sore back. All right, seated, I can still do it. Oh, but what about, a, I, I like to do it on an incline. Yeah, so freaking lay back and do the same thing. Watch this, look. Look, I can do it. There's so many ways to do it, okay? Don't overcomplicate this. That is number two. Number three. Remember, you only need three. Anything else, really, you don't need it. Sure, you might get a bit more gains, 1% more if you do seven different exercises. Most of you just need to train harder. That's 90% of the work done right there. You can pick one exercise and go harder and get better than doing the five or six the best way with the RP and the six and the seven and the hold it for next time and the six days a week and the deload after work three and the upwards and the do. Yeah, whatever. Science, 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 do all that stuff. Pick the best exercises and go freaking hard on them. That's all you need to do. How many sets? Five to 10 twice a week, max. And if you go crazy hard, Five is plenty. So number three, the answer is whichever of the ones I just showed that you didn't do yet, okay? You did barbell. Now you could do it with the easy bar. You did dumbbells standing up. Now you can do it sitting down. See how simple this is? You vary it a little bit. Oh, I'm bored, I don't wanna do it standing this time. Oh, my back's sore. See? Sit yourself down and do the curls that way. It's really that simple. Now, just for kicks, I give you an honorable mention that was almost made the list, okay? I have a sore shoulder. I can't do half of these things. Preacher curls like this in the front. I'm gonna give you more of a contraction at the top if you wanna add those in. And another one would be if you're leaning forward with a cable, cable, leaning forward and you're pulling in this way, okay? That will give you more contraction right at the bottom. So if you're like Mr. Olympia guy and you're like, no, I want more, no, I've already done those three. No, you just have your two extras. See, now I've got five exercises. Now remember, you can only do a max of two hard sets on each of these five, because that's 10. So if you add more exercises, you need to do less sets of each. So remember, just because you're doing more variety doesn't make it better because if you add more variety, you have to do less of the really good stuff. Standing barbell curls is awesome. You do five sets of that hard, you're gonna get good arms. Now if you say, no, but this coach said I should do five different exercises. Well, if you only do one set of each, you just went from doing five sets of biceps with the barbell curl, which is awesome, to one. You just did less of the good stuff. Does that make sense? It's like food, you can only eat so much calories. Well, if you're eating a lot of vegetables and your coach says, no, you should switch over to junk food to bulk and you eat less veggies in order to eat more junk, well, then you just decrease your nutrition. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. The three worst, and this you need to know because you don't know which of the ones should you avoid or not do as much of, okay? Which will offer you the less gains? You know the ones that are gonna give you the most gains, now you know what's the worst. Okay, I'm gonna do them in reverse order. So the third worst exercise for building jack biceps, 
Hammer grip curls. Hammer, like you're banging nails, okay? Hammer, see? Your hand's like this. You're curling this way, okay? You see that? It is a lot more forearm involvement, okay? Less bicep, you're not, you're not twisting. You see that little motion? Your bicep's in this position as opposed to twisting and doing the curl that way. You can see the difference. I have less peak right here, okay? That is the third worst exercise to do. Can you still do it? Yes. Does it suck? No, if you love it, still do it at the end. Do your sets, all the good, the best ones, and throw in that at the end. It's not like you can't do it, okay? You can do it. You can even grab dumbbells and do your cardio with a bicep. You seen Grandma Josephine walking around the hill with a one pound dumbbell pumping away? It's still gonna benefit you, it's still good. It's just not ideal, okay? So do what you need to do. If you like it, keep doing it, but just know there's better. Next, second worst thing you could do. You, this is the worst. Now, it's even worse, one worse. Bloop, the reverse curl. So I used to do these when I was a kid. I was like, why am I even doing this? I hate it. Sure, it's working your form. If you wanna work your forms more, that's great, but it's not doing nearly as much for your biceps as if you curled the right way. I'll call the right way with the supinated grip, okay? Cup of soup curls. If you put your hand this way and you curl, it's a reverse grip. Not as good. And here's the worst, and this is gonna create some controversy because some of your favorite guys, they're gonna tell you the opposite of this one and I don't care, because this is just my opinion, what I think. If you disagree, you disagree, okay? The worst bicep exercise you could ever do. This is, and I grouped them into one. Chin-ups, pull-ups, and any kind of bicep, like rows. Pull-ups, chin-ups, and rows. You know, pull-up, chin-up. It still works your bicep for sure. Rows, seated rows. It's still, you're still pulling in. You're still working the bicep, yes, but not ideal. Those exercises are for guess what? Do you know? It's for your back. Try to minimize bicep involvement, maximize back involvement. Lats, for example, when you do those exercises. Don't try to do chin-ups and rows to get bigger biceps. Try to do those exercises to get a bigger back. Then use your more isolation stuff for the biceps specifically after. So, can you do chin-ups to build bigger arms? Yes! Of course you can. It's just not ideal. I would suggest strongly that you do the curls for the girls, not the chins for the win. The chin for the win is for your back, okay? Can you do both together? Yes, a lot of people do back and biceps together. It's a pull day, but you want to start with your back first when your arms are fresh because you don't want your biceps to be a weak link in the, mov in the movement and you want to be able to perform your back to its maximum potential, okay? After you're done your back, then you can go on to the bicep specific exercises like the barbell curls, dumbbell curls, and so on, okay? So you can do your chins and your pull-ups and your rows, but do them before you focus on your biceps. Don't just use those to do your biceps, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Subscribe, click bell buttons, freaking press every single thing on the screen. Hopefully you get a swoosh, hopefully you get a swish, one of the two. It's a lottery you might not get, I don't know. I don't do this stuff. I also did a video. It was the top three chest training exercises, worst three. Be sure to watch that. If you learn about your biceps, you certainly want to build a big chest as well, okay? So watch those. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset, IFBB Pro. Follow me on Instagram. We can chat over there. And watch one of these two videos. They're so important you can't miss them or they're stupid and you can't miss them because they're so stupid. Either way, you got to watch it. And until next time, I'm out.